Marceline, the vampire queen, has gone through a whole lot in her 1,000 years, from surviving the Mushroom War to losing her father figure to a magic crown. But it's not all tragedy. She's also kicked ass with Finn and Jake while finding love with Princess Bubblegum. So to learn more about her history and sick guitar skills, stick around as I go through the complete timeline of Marceline, the vampire queen. Oh yeah, and I'm so happy to say that my Finn timeline is finally back up and running after Warner Brothers striked it, but I fully expect this video to be taken down soon too, so make sure you watch my videos before they are forcibly removed by subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much, and let's get on with the video. Her Early Life Born to mortal woman Elise and lord of evil Hansen Abadir, Marceline was largely a regular little girl, albeit with some demonic qualities, grey skin, pointed ears, and the ability to consume souls. Mother Elise and young Marceline fought to survive the Mushroom War, a nuclear conflict that almost destroyed all of humanity. But luckily, Marceline's demonic genes aided her from the harmful effects of war, but her mother, wasn't so lucky, eventually ordering her daughter to carry on without her as she succumbed to illness. The mother did do her best to leave a message for her daughter, but she wouldn't see it for centuries. I love you, Marceline. I hope you can forgive me. And so, Marceline soldiered on with life, creating friends out of random artifacts to give her some kind of companionship. Over time and miles of ground covered, all seemed lost to her, until she came across another unexpected survivor in Simon Petrikov. A renowned archaeologist, Petrikov's discovery of an enchanted crown, secretly a construct of long-dead wizard Evergreen, had kept him alive during the heights of war. And although the powers of the crown granted him control over ice and snow, it quickly ate away at his very own sanity. And therefore, protecting Marceline became one of Petrikov's only ties to the material world. And the pair quickly developed almost a father-daughter relationship. I love you, Simon. In order to protect her from the dangers of this post-apocalyptic world, Petrikov sacrificed more and more of himself by using the crown's powers. As his sanity started to slip away and scared of his new ice abilities, he made the tough choice to leave Marceline behind. You have to stay brave, my fearless Marceline. But he didn't leave her alone for long, as before he left, he contacted her biological father. However, Hudson certainly wasn't as selfless as her adoptive dad, because as soon as they reunited, he destroyed her shelter and even ate her fries, an incident that deeply traumatized her even a thousand years later. Because of this, she ventured out on her own, and the two wouldn't speak again until much later. Marceline's Teen Years on her explorations of the new world, she had one thing by her side, her family's blood axe that she retrofitted into a bass guitar. She even found a new home with a tribe of wandering humans, and now accepted into their party, she began to use her supernatural abilities to defeat more and more vampires that had risen up in the wake of humanity's collapse. She also used her demonic abilities to absorb the souls of the Vampire King's Court of Bloodsuckers. And with each one defeated, Marceline gained a brand new power. Invisibility from the Empress, shapeshifting from the Hierophant, flight from the Fall, and regeneration from the Moon. But her final battle with the Vampire King resulted in her being bitten and turned into a vampire. Meeting Princess Bubblegum Shaken by her most recent transformations, including immortality and unaging, Marceline travelled the world of Wu as the Vampire Queen, and she soon met the young Princess Bubblegum, and the two strike up a very lovely romance. But Bubblegum's responsibilities to Candy Kingdom complicated matters deeply, and a mission to save the Glass Kingdom eventually broke the pair up. Marceline later began another relationship with Ash, a young wizard, and they even moved in together in the treehouse, which was the very same that became the home to Finn and Jake. But when Ash traded one of Marceline's most treasured possessions, i.e. Hambo, a stuffed animal given to her by Petrikov years before, she lashed out and broke up with him. 
And so, like many of us, after a serious heartbreak, Marceline needed a break. So she took to travelling the world of Ooh, playing her music and exploring the land, becoming a famous friend to many and an all-round legendary figure. Meeting Finn and Jake it was at this point in her life that Marceline was introduced in Adventure Time's first season. Returning from her adventures to her treehouse, she was surprised to discover that Finn and Jake were living there. Thanks for keeping the place warm for me, like really great, thanks. So the pair tried to find a new home, but Marceline continued to mess with them by claiming their next home too. Soon impressed with Finn's fighting spirit, Marceline gave them the treehouse in exchange for their brand new home, which became Marceline's primary home for the rest of the show. Although scared of her at first, Finn and Jake soon realised that Marceline was only mischievous and not evil at all. She got close to them and soon formed a sweet friendship with Finn. Moreover, it was all thanks to Finn that Marceline once again found herself in Princess Bubblegum's orbit. Although it was tense between them at first, because of how it ended, it thawed out when Bubblegum revealed that she still had the shirt given to her by Marceline all those years ago. And it was one of her most prized possessions. Meanwhile, Finn and Jake affirmed just how loyal they were to Marceline by stopping Ash's plans to manipulate Marceline into a brand new romance. Marceline's connection to Finn also resulted in his early nemesis Ice King to re-enter her life. Discovering a goodbye from Petrikov amongst the Ice King's ramblings, Marceline did her best to accept him back into her life in some kind of way. In addition to reuniting with her old adoptive dad, it was Finn who also brought Hansen back into her life too. After listening to Marceline's sad song about her dad eating her fries, Finn brought him back into their world and played the song to him. And after realising what a crappy dad he'd been, he finally apologised for the fries incident. I love you, Marceline. Don't you ever doubt that. I love you too, Dad. Even after this tender moment, there were loads of issues between this father and daughter, such as him wanting Marceline to take over the nightosphere, something she definitely wasn't interested in. And although this didn't work out, he still told Marceline that he is proud of her no matter what she does. Becoming Mortal as time wore on, however, Marceline's immortality finally started to catch up with her. After helping to bring Petrikov's long-lost love Betty to the present day, Marceline decided she was tired of living forever. To that end, she worked with PB to exercise her vampiric side, and she did lose her additional powers in the process, but she could finally step into the sun without burning up and age once again. But her happiness was short-lived, as her foes the Vampire King and his court had returned. The stake storyline from Adventure Time's seventh season delved into her hunt for the vampires, and we saw the gang work together to bring down the bloodsuckers, and during the process Marceline slowly regained all their powers. During a final showdown with the Vampire King, she was bit once again and turned back into a vampire. PB and Marceline. While Marceline wasn't exactly pleased about the curse, she did make peace with it, especially as it meant that her and also the ageless Princess Bubblegum could remain close for endless eons. Bonnie, thank you for helping me grow up. Now I guess we get to hang out together forever. Towards the end of Season 10, she stayed beside PB during the Great Gun War, and seeing firsthand the devastation of the war, she tried to get PB to end it. But I've lived through something like this once before, and... And ultimately, the war did end peacefully, and there was once again calm in the Candy Kingdom. By the way, I know I'm skimming a huge amount in this show, so if you'd like a deeper dive into PB and the Gun Wars, then do let me know in the comments. Anyway, as soon as it looked like that peace had finally been restored, an evil entity known as Golb arrived on the scene. And one of its creations came very close to killing PB, and after ensuring that she was alright, the two shared a brief kiss, reaffirming their feelings for one another. After the battle ended, the pair formally rekindled their romance, and after years of development and growth having affected them both, the couple were able to avoid most of the pitfalls that had thrown off their early relationship. 
Marcelina's even given more time with Petrikov, whose mind was restored by Betty in the process of defeating Golb. Marceline and PB's life together. Princess Bubbagum moved in with Marceline and the pair spent many years together, even resolving lingering threats to the Glass Kingdom from their previous breakup. And for someone who spent most of their life on the move to avoid losing any more loved ones, Marceline ended up with a pretty impressive band of friends and family. Even her villainous father overcame his darker impulses to actually become protective of her. I'm bad, but I'm not so bad, right? But no matter what her final fate is in the universe, Marceline will always be remembered as one of Adventure Time's biggest hearts and biggest heroes, who would have made her mother and adopted guardian very, very proud.